Saga Cigars, makers of the Saga Golden Age. The Golden Age is a cigar that takes you back to the classic days of cigar smoking. Through the six generations of experience by the Reyes family, the Saga Golden Age delivers a timeless blend that uses the nobility of the tobacco to bring you the perfect balance of power and flavor. It narrates better than words the history of a family's tradition in tobacco, delivering a cigar much like the ones they used to smoke in the times of Hemingway. Saga Golden Age is a full-bodied, full-flavored Dominican Puro. With tobaccos from one farm, the blend features a Corojo 2006 wrapper and filler from original Cuban seeds grown in the Dominican Republic. Available in four sizes at an affordable price, the Saga Golden Age is sure to please and take you back on a journey to yesteryear. If you created the Aging Room Small Batch Cigar Line, the highest rated boutique cigar brand of our times, what would you do next? Well, if you're Raphael Nodel from Boutique Blend Cigars, you would combine your three most important passions of your life, Cuba, music, and cigars, and create a new classic, La Bohème Cigars. La Bohème is Raphael's take on the golden age of Cuban cigars. La Bohème is a sophisticated blend of extra aged and hard to find tobaccos from the Dominican Republic. A medium bodied cigar, rich in flavors reminiscent of the island he left 35 years ago in a small boat with his family. Why wait for the embargo to be lifted? Smoke La Bohème today. Blending is in our DNA. M. Bombay cigars represent the most admired cigar culture of Cuba. They select the best of the best quality tobacco to use in the aging process. M. Bombay cigars are then rolled in Costa Rica by some of the most experienced cigar rollers, giving it a unique smoking experience. The band portrays the detailed and artistic nature of our small industry. Try the M. Bombay Casera, M. Bombay Mora, and the recently released M. Bombay Habano. M. Bombay Cigars, where the cigar is a way of life. Welcome back, everyone, to the Stogie Geek Show. I'm here with Mr. Will Cooper and Stogie Santa. That's Yeah, I can't hear anything all of a sudden in my headphones. I hope, I hope everyone in the live stream can still hear me. I haven't looked at my chat all night either. I hope everyone's having a good time in the chat. Coop, no, he can't hear Coop, me. you there? I'm there. Can, can you, you hear, hear me? me, Coop? I hear you guys fine. Okay. Okay. So maybe I just need to jiggle the, jiggle the cables. Just jiggle. We'll get it figured out. Yep. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, I can hear you fine. All right. Okay. Stogies of the week. Uh, I want to do the unbanded. We started doing unbandeds. We got to loop you in on the unbandeds. We got uh, fabulous Keith. Helping us out with the unbandeds, because uh, we need like a third party to unband them, and that's it. We're yeah. keeping it honest. Yeah. Yeah. And make sure we just get Mark <coughs> one of those. Keith's uh, doing a great job. Will, do you have handy the unbandeds that we went through last week? Where th we there was a. I apologize. We just started doing unbandeds again. And we're I still love working that. on our, our process, and we uh, un uh, revealed three of them last week, but there was some confusion. So let's make sure we get them right. Will, do you want to go through those? Yeah, so there was, first of all, there was um, the Freya. Yes. Which one was that, A, B, or C, do you know? It was, you have the band. I do. I sent you a picture of the bands. Yeah. I don't have it in front of me. Okay, so maybe there's confusion. Why are doing that? No, no something <laughs> we should try to do maybe next year is pick out cigars like uh, although we don't like to go out of the room, we still have to we still have to review them because it's only right sixty rings, like maybe the best sixty ring of the year. Yeah, the best the Connecticut uh, of the year, or the best Lancero or yeah. whatever. I, I think you know because I think what we sometimes do, and I'm, I'm guilty of it uh, the most. Uh, I, I'll raise my hand. Size discrimination. Yeah, exactly. Size discrimination. All cigars matter. That's right. right. Matter. If the unbanded uh, this week was a sixty ring. I think yeah. it's a 60 ring. Well, I'm going to tell you. Go ahead. It was cool. a, yeah, it was a 60 ring. It was a 60. Do you want to do it first, Will? Yeah, let's do a 60. I want to I wanna hear this one, Cooper. Please. Yeah, I, so I'm ripe with anticipation. I got my favorite 60 ring of the year. You're going to be surprised. It was an interesting cigar. Um, it had, it started out really nice. It had some great sweetness. I kind of was getting some cocoa notes, some earthy notes. Some spicy notes. I'll go. I'll go one better. Will I thought the cigar started out fantastic. Yeah. I mean, everything really that Will's saying. I mean, it's an explosion of flavor, right? Can, From I, a 60 can I guess ring? what it is? 
After you're done? Yeah. Okay, keep going. I want to guess what it is. Okay. Then I would say the cigar was in the medium to medium full range for most yep. of the smoke in terms of strength and body. But it, it lost some of that sweetness along the way, and it kind of got more bland. It did. No, it's not the one I know. No. Nope. It, yeah. it was very dynamic and exciting in the first third. Lots of flavors, spice, a little bit of spice, like Will said. It, it hits you with a lot of flavor in that first third. Then it slowly started to taper out. In fact, it's right here. Slowly started to taper out, and then I was like, I'm done with it. Like, it just, it wasn't bad, no, but it got very one-dimensional, and it lost all of its excitement in the final third. That's, that's exactly check life. That's kind of what I would say happened with that cigar. Um, it Definitely not the one I smoked. Yeah, it, it looks like a Habano wrapper. I, there might be some Nicaraguan in this cigar. Uh, are we going to reveal yeah. this cigar or I'm not? not quite sure. Do you have any guesses as to what? I don't know what it was. I, I don't even no have a guess. I have no clue. I wasn't going to try to guess because I didn't have a clue either on that. That's a but good I idea, so let's not even bother. Um, <laughs> I couldn't. What I was couldn't your rating on the cigar, Will? Fiver. Yeah, I would call it a fiver. Wow, you got that high of a rating on, on something that petered out? Because it wasn't bad. It, it was it, it, it was so good in that first. It was so uh, good in the first third. I'd keep five of them around, smoke the first third. That's how good it was in the first third. <laughs> oh, wow. oh, geez. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I have the answer, but I can't access it. Oh. I don't have it. <laughs> this was all you will. I put this this on Ben. It was he put all it on you. A, he put it on a drive. I need permission on it. Hang on. Let me. Oh, oh yeah. Throw it on Will's. Oh, yeah. Mr. Timely here. <laughs> I'm throwing Will under the bus on this one. But let's go. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> oh. Try <laughs> some. Hang on a second. <clears throat> oh, yeah. It says While we have permission. a little dead, sp dead space. I, I, speaking of 60 rings, one of my favorites of the year, you're going to yeah. Jose's Maduro. He did a great, great job with that Maduro. He did. I really, I'm, and I'm telling you, from beginning to end, and Jose was there when I was smoking it, and he knows I, I don't smoke uh, 60 rings, and Jose did a great, great, he, he blended that cigar that, for that size. He did a nice job. He, he did. It was, um, I think you were talking about, we were talking about um, Maduros that were um, really good in the um, San Andreas. That was one of them this week. No acidity, nothing. Nothing. I, I was very, 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 very All right. surprised. I think Keith needs to give me access to the Google Doc, and as soon as he does that, we'll have the answer of what the unbanded was. Yeah, I just requested yeah. access. But so you have email of me requesting access to the Google the Doc. The same MA, I can't get it. Um, but anyway, let me. <laughs> but, but we do have an answer on the other three. I did bring the okay. other three. Okay, let's, let's do the, the other, other three. three. Okay. Keith's okay. busy right now. Okay. So there were three, just you know, there were three cigars that basically made it into uh, last week. Uh, there was a, one was a Freya, one was the Tarano Noventa, which, yep. uh, and the third one was the one that I got right. Actually, I, I can't believe I got this one right, but I do believe it because um, I had smoked it. It was the Southern, it was the Quick Draw Broadleaf by Southern Draw Cigars. I want to hear about this. Yeah, but Wait, that so was, which one was A? Okay, so A was, um, it was the Freya. That was the Pareja, it was the rounded cigar. Okay. So that was, that was, that was the Freya. B was the, um, the, the, the Southern Drawer Quick Draw, Maduro, and C was the Tarano Noventa. Okay. So let me recap A. I said A, good smooth flavors, not too many changes, but a very solid smoke. The, 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 you know, I called it a fiver. Be overrated. Yeah, I, I called it a fiver. I thought it was a solid smoke. <clears throat> um, I do like the Freya. Uh, I smoked some of the different sizes, and size matters in that blend. I, but now Will and I smoked one <coughs> that was sent to us that had some age on it, and I think it's got some aging potential because the one I smoked mm -hmm. on the show was awesome. Yeah, I agree. The Freya, that was a bigger size Freya that we smoked too. That was probably yes. closer to different the different size, and it definitely had some age on it. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I kind of like the I kind of like mm -hmm. that Freya and the Robusto and in the pyramid size, but but still a very good cigar. Yes. Um, that the reason I was kind of the only reason why I got that Southern drawer and I'm not that good at these blinds is I uh, there's not a lot of covered foot pigtail Corona size 
cigars. Um, and I was pick, and I knew that, and I had Pennsylvania Broadleaf in my head, and that's what they're using on that blend. Okay. Yeah, I had uh, on the uh, Southern Draw. I had awesome sweetness to start. Final third was good, but not as good as it started. Uh, really, really good flavors in that first third. And, and the whole thing is the fitness to all these um, um, bandits. You don't know how long time they've been set. You don't know the no. production. You know, and they yeah, can turn yeah. it to something even even right. better. Right. You know what yep. I mean? Yep. So I now am pulling up the answer to this week's. Oh, and C was the uh, C from last week um, was the Taranio Noventa. I had nice bold flavor, really strong to start, but smooth. This is a strong cigar, ah. actually from Taranio. This is strong. I added a fiver, and I had the Southern Draw as a box split. I thought I thought that was the best out of the unbandits from last week. Yep. So, are okay, you ready for the answer oh. for this week's? Yes. Sixty ring. Will and uh, I like uh, the first third, and then it kind of it fizzled out a little bit, but it was still good. Okay, so nice mineral this, taste. This, uh, I would have never got this one. We've smoked this cigar before. Used to? Have I smoked it? You p have, but and but the, you have definitely smoked this blend. I don't. I had never smoked it in this size before. Um, and he's been a guest on this show. Hmm. Um, he's a friend of the show. Mm hmm. He's a New England guy. Oh wow, Mike Bellady. Yeah. Oh, and right. it, so it, this was the point, it was this was Imperia. 60. Imperia. This was in, in the sixty. And and hey, we love the we love the Imperia line. So mm -hmm. again, it's another example. The sixty didn't do it for me as much, but that's not a reason for me to say I, I can see it now when, when I saw the answer on that. See, and, and that, it, that, that's a great point, Coop. Right. See, this is where we go back to what we're saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now someone could j just call Coop out and say, "Well, he doesn't know what he's talking about." You see what I'm getting right. at? Yeah. Just like but it's great because we, we know Mike had a relationship with Mike. It was nice to smoke his cigar without any preconceived notions. No, and it's and we, great. We still rated and it, it just uh, brings more accreditation yeah. to Mike and to us. Right. Yep. That's yep. what I'm saying. And it's still, uh, like I said, it was still a, good, it was still a five. I thought it did. A five, five, five is not a bad thing. Rating. No. I mean, and the way we talked about that the That means you're going to buy it. But I, yeah. And this goes back to size because in that uh, double perfecto, which is like the a fun vent only. Oh, my God. The fun that, that is whole best first thing. third of that sixty ring is in that whole cigar in that double perfect. That's what I meant to say when I when I was talking. I want to stand corrected by Omar. I said six by sixty on the Bianco three. It's so what five by fifty six. Yeah, but still that it, th there you go. So there's no. It's that's no, why yeah. th it's in credence. It's it's a personal. I'm, I'm sure you guys didn't look at it and say sixty ring is no good. And that's what no, I think. Yeah. Them bandit is a great We're way so to over go. That, yeah. Oh, I I think it's a great I great yep. great concept. Yep, and, and I'm glad Mike, we uh, go back to some of bandits because it's uh, yeah. it's a lot of fun. Yeah, we got uh, two more. We've got uh, uh, we only did one this week, but we've got unbanded B and C from week two uh, that we started on bandits that we still have to smoke as well. Mm -hmm. yep. So we're going to do those uh, over break. Talk about those in January, and then uh, we're going to talk about some other cigars right now. Okay. Yep. Will, did you see my draft post in there? You had several. I had one that said it was a famous famous smoke exclusive with a gold band on it. Do you know what that was? All right. No, while like, we're talking, take yeah. a look at that one. See if you can tell me what that was, because I didn't have time to figure out what it was. I got tons of. I'm gonna start with uh, my slightly infused cigar. You guys can help me out with with this one. Uh, this was the Asylum Dragon's Milk. Did you smoke? Oh, this I want to hear. I smoked that one. I like this cigar a lot. I thought I like it was it good. I thought it was a nice change of pace. I just go ahead. This to me, and I'm going to back up what I can tell is on your face. This to me is a cigar that's either you're going to love, or you're going to hate and not love. I didn't. I, hate it's it. a very. Go ahead. It's a very polar. I mean, you're either going to enjoy the crap out of this cigar, which I did, or it's just not going to be in your wheelhouse because the flavor is. It, it's like anything else. It's like a fine spirit or a cocktail or food or a beer. It, people have a different palate. And this cigar has a very, very distinct flavor profile. Uh, and it comes a lot from that infusion, right? And I don't remember exactly how they're infusing the cigar. But it mm -hmm. definitely, I could tell it was infused with something. And that flavor was not overly pronounced, 
but it wasn't very subtle either. It was kind of like that middle of the road infusion, which I, which I, 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 I enjoy. I think if you take the infusion to a whole new level, it just goes way out of my wheelhouse. Um, but I thought this had, you know, some of those traditional tobacco flavors coupled with, I don't know what to call the flavor, but it was it was a, a creaminess. Dragon's milk is probably an appropriate name for it. I liked it. And now also, I think that one of the factors we never uh, really put into the equation when we're reviewing the cigar is the mood that you're in when you smoke the cigar, mm -hmm. right? I was in the mood, my palate was kind of tired, and I was in the mu mood for something that was a little bit infused, so I didn't have to try so hard to pick out the flavors and, and, and get all the flavors out of the cigar, and that's when I reached for this one, and it hit the spot. It was the, the mood I was in, and I thought the flavors were great, and I thought uh, they did a nice job. Will, Stokes, what's some more of the background on this on this cigar? I know we've talked uh, about it before. Uh, I, it, it was fun to go with the beer, right? Yeah, well, I okay. got the dragon's milk. I got I've the, had the I dragon's milk yeah. style right. before. Yeah, it's a good, good beer. Yeah, it's a good beer. Mm. Okay, let me explain it because uh, this was, I think, Paul, this was the show you were out for mm. and we had Lazuka on. Lazuka on. He talked about yeah. it. Yeah, so here's what they're doing. They, dragon's milk is a beer that's made in bourbon barrels. Correct. Okay. It's a, it's a different beer. Um, it's a stout. I like it. It's a stout, it's a, right? It's a stout, right. It's not, but it's not a, it's, it's different because you do get a lot of that bourbon taste to it. So what they're doing is they're taking those barrels, they're shipping those barrels down to Nicaragua, and they're actually taking that Dragon's Milk cigar, and they put the cigar in its entirety into the barrel, and they age it there for a short right. term. So not, not, the, not the components, but the whole cigar. But the whole cigar, and it picks up some of that, what's on the oak already, which is the beer and the bourbon. Now, have you got to to speak to? I think the trickiness of that. Have you guys ever taken a cigar and put it inside a pipe tobacco? No. I've been experimenting that a little bit yep. lately, and it's it's not like magic, dude. <laughs> like it, it it can be weird, right? And I it, so I I kind of give props to people that are uh, trying to infuse their cigars in that way um, because it's a, a tricky process. You're not buying into any of this crap. It, I, I, I I had it as a fiver. I think it's a, I, I, it's a different cigar. It's not a cigar for everybody. Right. Is what I'm going to yeah. say. No, I, I did. Think it's a, uh, for me, I for me, it was a box split. I had it really high because I liked the flavors from it. I really did. It, it, I call it try a, one. I can see. I can, Mark but not I can see your stuff. try one, right? Because like either, like I said, uh, you're gonna uh, love it, or it's not gonna be in your wheelhouse. You it's very like polarizing. The, it, yeah. It it is. I gave it a, a fiver because it's a sixteen dollar price point, and it's it is a high price point for for that cigar. Yeah. See, I liked it. It was in my wheelhouse. But yeah, I, I've, been, I've been liking that's it a great. lot more. See, this is this is this is what I'm saying. Credibility lies right here. But there has to right be flavored here, cigars. The, that, are there flavored cigars that you like to smoke? No. It, no it's really. I just. I what I about no? I was talking about a uh, the uh, cafe nub cafe. Uh, you know it's funny. Okay, I stand corrected. You know. Wow. I, I, well, so you totally validated me too. Yeah, yeah I, that's probably one of the very. I just. It's very it is, few I, I'll you, smoke it, but I won't go back to it. Yeah. I, I'll always very try something. I find it's very palate cleansing. Yeah, exactly. I like up. the cappuccino. As, yeah, my, the myself. cappuccino better. Yeah. I did. I smoked that this weekend, by the yeah. way. And what did you and I, agree, I agree with you guys on that. Yeah. Now, to have the three of us say that there's an infused cigar we all agree on that yeah, you it, should it's smoke. It's like, I, yeah. you know, again, look, who am I to even say anything with Jewish states is right or wrong? I can't smoke an acid. If I, 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 I went into like two inches of it, and I, I just couldn't but smoke it. But tobacco special. Yeah, tobacco I think special. That, I think that falls in the same class as the Nub Cafe. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I'm more of a purist, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I, and I like that. I think the cafe has more. The flavors on it is just really. It's so not you prefer the Nub Cafe over tobacco over special. Anything. Yeah. I, 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 but the know. fact that we're even talking seriously about infused cigars right. I, tells I you that there's something out there. There's something forever. again. Yeah. Doesn't not something mean, you smoke all the time, right? Right. Yeah. It doesn't mean that it's wrong. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. So you, everyone that smokes a cafe or or or, or a few cigar doesn't mean it's wrong. It's just right. that's it's it's gonna it's gonna either like you're saying, you can smoke a particular manufactured cigar that's you will like it and you'll say okay. But when it comes to infusion, there's no great there's no middle road. There's yeah, no middle yeah. road. Yeah, either you and like a dragon's it or you don't. milk, um, to me, to be honest with you, I, it it I didn't know where it was going. Mm -hmm. It just 
I couldn't get it. And then at sixteen dollars, mm -mm. but we agree on the Nub Cafe. Yeah, which is good. That's yeah. good. I, want, I wanted to make sure we talked about infused cigars because yeah. we really haven't. So I'm glad we had that discussion. Yep. Now, well, okay. Speaking, of I just want to yeah, go back go about ashtrays. How important they are. Is there any way I can get a picture of Paul's underneath his feet? His feet, where this move your move your Uggs for me. <laughs> you got Uggs on? Oh Take yeah, a, dude, dude, I support Tom Brady, dude. These are my Uggs. I, I gotta get these, a pair. Everyone's swear about dude. They're I know. Awesome. I will never. Tom Tom Brady buys them for the whole Patriots team, dude. Dude, dude I don't care about the Uggs. Take a look at the ashes. Look at the ashes <laughs> over there. We can, we, maybe believe. we get a close up. Why that. do we need ashtrays? Here's a perfect <laughs> example. <laughs> That's why I can't sell an <laughs> ashtray. My, I need to put my ashtray like right there <laughs> under my feet. <laughs> <laughs> there is a pile of ash right there. Take a look at mine. Not a goddamn <laughs> ash. Maybe in my, it's, it, I got some in my pocket. I got some in my shirt, but none on the floor. Anyway, yes. let's stay, let's stay true. Yep. Oh boy. Back to you, Will. What do you got to do this? Um, so I smoked, I smoked an interesting cigar. Um, I smoked a lot of cigars this this week, so I didn't get, put them all in. But I smoked um the Espinosa Especial. Oh, um, which, I never yeah. tried that. Yeah, and this is um this is Eric's uh, new Maduro that he came out with at the trade show. Uh, Mexican rapper, surprise. Ooh, and you liked it? And I liked it. Um, yeah, Mexican rapper with Nicaraguan binder and filler. Um, I smoked the number four, which is the five by fifty four uh, fifty two robusto. Um, and I tell you what, um, it's it's an interesting cigar in that it's you're gonna get. Those classic Mexican San Andreas flavors, um, the espresso, the earthy notes, and you'll get some black pepper along the way. It's, I don't want to say it's kind of like, it's different than Omar's. This is, I'll be honest, this is this is a little more of a more rugged San Andreas Maduro, um, which surprised which which surprised me, right? But at the same time, there was there was it just. It was in a medium to medium full range. If that thing was full bodied, I don't think I would have liked it. Okay. I think it was it was just a tad down, which I think. Well, what kept do you get for binder and filler in it? Do you know? Coop. It's Nick. It's Nick you know, all he's disclosing is Nicaraguan. Yeah, that's probably that has something to do with it. Yeah, we do know that 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 we do know that the Nicaraguan tobacco is is coming from each of the four main growing regions, which is Esteli, Jalapa, Condega, and Ometepe. Mm -hmm. And I think it's that Ometepe that's great, giving it a little great more trivia depth. question. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I it, think it's good. Oh, excuse me. Go, go ahead. Cool. No, go ahead. Yeah, no, I think that that, that Oma Tepe is giving it a little more of that rugged combined with the San Andreas. Now, know what I come to about one of my, you know how we always do our morning, my, my morning smoke is like 9, 30, 10 o'clock. Mm -hmm. I'm not an early morning, early morning smoker. This is who I am. Uh, you uh, said that too. You like to eat breakfast. And yeah, I, I got to do that. I just, who, you know, yeah. everyone's different. No, I can see Latelier, that. the natural Natalie, uh, Latelier. I'll tell you what, the 52. Really? Just do that. That creaminess note with a black cup of coffee hmm. is one of my go-tos now in the morning. I just and it's not too strong? No. Mm. No, not they, at all. A nice came, mild medium. They came down a lot. They were That's a little strong. They, they, well, maybe a little strong. I'm not, you know, I wouldn't go say strong. I don't think it's strong. I, I it isn't, you know, there you go. See what I'm saying? Coop saying that. I'm saying, in the morning, I love that. I love that cigar mm. with, a, with a black cup of coffee. No, it reminds me of it's just that creaminess. It, it just adds to my coffee. I, it's my newfound morning smoke. Hmm. See, now this cigar, this especial. Here's how I would say it. it it's, a, it's a box split. It's a after dinner cigar with a black cup of coffee. That's how I would put this cigar. Interesting. In a, it's a, it's not a cigar you want to have in the morning by any means. It's a little rough, okay. but it's kind of a nice. It's kind of a nice cigar to, to finish the day. There is, there is, you know, like I said, it has a little bit, of, a little more grittiness, but at the same time, there's enough sweetness that offset the grittiness, I guess, as I could say. So it was actually something that, you know, I, I tend with the San Andreas, I tend to go more towards the Dominican blends with it. That's what I tend to do. This is Nicaraguan. Well, so I, I, I tend to have more of a preference towards the, what the Dominican blends well, are doing. Well, and that's what going back to Omar. We're talking about the blending. And, and yeah. That, and, that, and that Dominican, and that, it makes a difference. It makes it a does. difference. It does. It does. It does. You know, I, I catch hell here and there when I say these things. Dominican, years ago, people were down. I, I think Dominican blends are, are, are truly right up there with everybody else. Yep. Yeah, I yep. think that's one of the other preconceived notions, right? Where the tobacco comes from and what mm -hmm. characteristics it displays. And I think that certain components are the you know the 
cultivation and the farming and the botany behind it. I think some of it's but fermentation. Soil, soil is everything. But then, in, then there's blending, right? So there's almost like three different major factors that go into it. And then I, we had Jorge from Tobacco's University on. And he was like, dude, you know, you basically, yeah, you can le you learn all that. And you learn all that from Tobacco's University, but throw it all that out the window. He's like, just smoke the cigar. Right. He's like, don't try don't, and, don't try don't try and you know, die and say this really has this kind of... He's like, because there's so many factors that start on the farm with the soil and the climate. Oh, the soil He's like, and then there's, soil. there's so much that goes into the fermentation. And then there's so much that goes into the blending. He's like, there's too many factors to make any preconceived notions. Right. Just smoke the cigar and you either enjoy it or you don't or you fall somewhere in between. So, uh, yeah. I agree. Yeah. And, and then uh, just like with, uh, it, with Omar, it's another question that we could go for for uh, uh, stogies or, or we're going to give, give backs. So it's like even, even your primings. Some, yeah. some smoke quicker, the viso, seco, different. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It makes a big difference. I, I was surprised he had two Lajeros in that blend when he I said didn't, that. I, I was surprised. When he said that, my, I, it was coop. It was funny. That, that's, that's what I took out of the whole conversation when he said yeah. that. I did not know that. Well, and the other thing, Dominican Olor, it depends on which form it comes from. Mm -hmm. You know? Yep. It, 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 there's a lot of factors. Anyway. Yep. Um, um, Paul, just so you know, I have... You want to go to your gold band? We could talk about that. Yeah, let's go to that one because I really like this cigar. Um, is this a famous smoke exclusive? Will? Yeah, this, this is came a from famous. They sent us some cigars. Yeah, and this was uh, one of them. This is the I just happened to pick one of the ones they they gave us. Um, I almost I I mean this was really an unbanded for me. I knew it came from famous, so the, yeah, there was a little. So that's bit all of, you knew. That's all I knew okay. was that it came from famous smoke. It was exclusive to famous smoke. Uh, it was a rebuso size cigar with what looked like a Maduro wrapper. Yep. And I, I'm like, you know Habano. what? I'm it's, not like gonna... it's like a Habano, but yep. Okay. It was a darker wrapper, dark yep. Habano wrapper. I was like, you know what? I'm not going to, I'm not going to go read dark about it. Dark Habano wrapper? It was a dark, it was a dark wrapper on this cigar. I don't know. I can show you a yeah, picture Yeah, it's a dark Habano. It's a, it's dark. I've seen dark that's Habano. A dark, that's a dark wrapper. That looks like a Maduro, right? That don't look it's like a Habano. Yeah. That, I would guess it, Maduro, it's right? A, they're, they're saying Habano. So I'm like, I'm not going to research. I'm just going to smoke it. And I was like, you know, it took a little while to get the cigar warmed up, right? Like, at first, it didn't, like you say, Stokey Sand, didn't quite know what it wanted to do with itself. And then it started to warm up. Nice sweetness, a little bit of chocolate, nice toastiness. It finished. That sounds like a nice little combination. It finished fantastic. Yeah, this really? was a really good cigar. I rated it in a box split. I'm like, this was a good cigar. Yeah, so, so Will, me I, I mean, do the reveal. I mean, what's the story on this one? Um, called The Immortal. What um, is it called, Coop? Immortal. Okay. Immortal. Um, it's a 5 by 54 um, It is made out of Placencia. It's famous as uh. cigar. It has a Habano wrapper over Nicaraguan binder and filler. Um, it's got a very reasonable – the price point is – the MSRP, very reasonable. What's that, Paul? Uh, 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 bun Coop. Bundle of 10 Yeah. $40. What? Wow. That's a yeah. four dollar cigar? Holy yeah. crap. And I and ah. here's what I'm gonna say. I Dude, been, that was I, for four dollars. Talk about value. Wow. I've been communicating a lot with famous over the last few months. Mm -hmm. Um what they're and I and I'm down on a lot of shop exclusives right now, what's going on. I'm not gonna get into that. Yeah, but they're either. doing some yeah, but they're doing some good ones right now. Uh some of the ones that the projects they've done I've been have been impressive of what I've been sampling. Um some but some of them have been some of them have been better than others, but in general I'd say they're doing a pretty good job with that. I haven't smoked this cigar yet, but for, for, again, looking at it for a four dollar cigar for a bundle of ten, for forty forty dollars for a bundle Talk of ten. Talk about a value. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. It's pretty yeah. good. What else you got, Will? Um, so I finally um, got around to smoking this cigar, and it's a Viaje, and it's called the Viaje Jalapeno. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just what? added to my ash pile in front of my chair. <laughs> I am the messiest person. Thank you, Keith. <laughs> anyway, uh, Coop, can't go ahead. take me out. Uh, <laughs> 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 the I, uh, we don't know much about the Viaje <laughs> Jalapeno because Andre won't tell me. <laughs> you know, I don't. I don't. You know, if you guys, go ahead. Uh, but what? What? What is? What is different about this? Well, what? What? What is? What is familiar about this cigar? Is you remember that he did an exclusive O called the Chiquito? Oh, oh, my one of my favorite blends. Chiquito, 
Yeah. I love that. Hold I love on. that That's blend. that little one that came. Oh, my God. That's his best cigar ever. Uh, oh, it's one of the best. Mark Jr. got me hooked yeah, on that one. I, I oh, guess who got Mark Jr.? Well, whatever. That's well, a story for another time. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. This is not the exclusive of blend, but it's the same shape. It's the exact same size. That Ford 7 8 by 51. Kind of that weird. It's almost. Oh. I don't want to say it's a guess Solomon. Guess who's got some of those? <laughs> oh, we're going to talk. <laughs> oh, I thought, go ahead. Excuse me. Yeah, but it, but uh, he he basically branded this one called a jalapeno, um, and yeah, it's 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 gonna have some spice, okay? Um, it definitely is gonna have um, it's gonna have a lot of pepper on this thing for sure. But um, well, I mean, calling it jalapeno, I mean, yeah. it almost has to live up to its name. The yeah, chiquito yeah, did it. That other size he did. Yeah, the other the thing, blend he did in that size didn't. The pepper's gonna be there for the first two thirds. There's some coffee notes in there. There's um. Little bit of a citrus, it just gives it a touch of sweetness. It's that last third where that thing just kind of goes from zero to sixty, and, and the spice ramps up, and it goes. Is to it full a, is it a baker spice, Will? No, it's it's a red pepper spice. <laughs> <laughs> I it wasn't a jalapeno pepper spice, but it was more of a red pepper I got from it. Like an and unsweetened it goes, marshmallow. <laughs> okay, you made your point. Go ahead, cool. <laughs> this is a guy who's wearing Uggs here. <laughs> 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 Thank you. This is a guy in Uggs in an ugly Christmas sweater. Well, yeah. <laughs> With no socks on. <laughs> no, I have socks on, actually. Not supposed to wear socks. I know, yeah, but well, you know what? I don't like the rules. I have Christmas socks oh, on. Oh, dude. <laughs> Go back to the jalapeno. Go ahead, cool. Uh, cigar goes for about $8.50. Um, it, it, it's, it's a pretty good cigar. I, I, I did like, I, despite the, I do like a spicy cigar from time to time. Um, and this wasn't a harsh spice that I got by any means. Um, I put it as a box split. Um, it's one of, I kind of, I thought it was a little bit of an off year for Viaje compared to some previous years, but this was this was a, this was pretty good, you know, in terms of I like this one a lot. And, and now it's it's hard to track these down. So mm -hmm. go figure. Yeah, I've seen some of the Andre's other things around, but this one I can't find. That's what I find difficult when you do all these limited releases and whatever. Yeah. It, it's a difficult. It, it's hard to do. It really is. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, w whatever. Go ahead. What's uh, your last ball? He, here's a cigar that we don't agree on, and that's the Padron 50th Anniversary Maduro. I want to oh. hear about that. You guys, so I smoked the natural and the Maduro. <laughs> and I'm just going to throw it out there. I like the natural better. Uh, you said that when we were doing the, the no, shorts. That, that, uh, that, that, the Maduro. That, go ahead. This uh, is like another year of the snake I think we're having. I, oh, I thought that no. Maduro is... Go ahead. Oh, Excuse it, me, Paul. This is Go like, ahead. but this is like comparing like a Ferrari to a Lamborghini, right? I mean, yeah, you know that's what a I mean? good point. It's, that's a good point. They're both uh, just uh, awesome, unbelievable cigars, in my opinion. Um, but the Maduro, to me, was very. It was interesting because it was very, very smooth throughout the entire smoke. It wasn't strong, like. When I looked at no, the cigar, it, it kind of reminded me of a 45th Maduro, and I was like, wow, no, it's going to be... not even close. Yeah, but not profile, totally different. Totally See, different. It's smooth. It's got a little bit of sweetness to it, a little bit of cocoa notes. Very, very good. Now, I'm comparing it to the natural, which, I mean, I don't know if you necessarily want to compare them. You, no, yes, we do. Okay, yes, so we if do. we Go compare ahead. them, I like the, the sweetness I thought was more pronounced in the natural, and balanced out with a lot of spice, which kind of gives me a more of a, like a bite on the flavor. It's you know I, what I mean? think what they did with that with the natural coop do you agree with this? That oakiness, yeah, and yeah. it has a woody See, component that oakiness, to the natural. Yeah. It reminds yeah. me of of a California, um, um, uh, 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 a California when when they turn around and get it, they they get a white wine and they oak the shit out of it. Mm -hmm. And I yeah. just that oakiness on that cigar just. It, it it didn't. Uh, it's, see, it, but I like that. I see, like see that. what I'm saying. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. It's a that was a flavor I could like chew on, and it was it was. Uh, I thought it was. And the I, Maduro, again, I thought that the flavors for me were somewhat subtle, more subtle than the natural, and therefore I prefer the natural. But again, I'm comparing a Lamborghini to a Ferrari. Right. You know what I, mean? I So, I mean, to me, the the 50th anniversary Maduro is box worthy. I think the natural Ooh, to me I, is I, by I, I, That could. I think that Maduro in time could be. Could be. Not saying now could be Oasis. I had it as Oasis when uh, I had hey, it's it. It's going to be very, very. Uh, that that thing was just. It was more. It was more balanced. 
I, I, I then see that's what I'm saying. You, you get a Chardonnay. I just think when you're oaking, you're almost hiding flavors on that cigar. You're hiding hiding that that true essence of that cigar. I thought it had more complexity than Maduro. Um, the natural had more complexity than Maduro. No, the, no, I no. thought the Maduro had more the complexity. Other way around. Yeah, see, I, 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 I think it's the other way for me. No. Oh, let me ask a question here. So, if someone said. If you, are you a Padron Maduro guy or are you a Padron Natural guy? What would you say in general, generalization? If I look at the entire line, uh -huh. I think I lean more towards natural. Why? At this, at this point in that's time. Exactly, that, that, yeah. That's exactly what it – and that's what – and look, I thought the I, – I was probably higher on the natural than Stogie Santa was, but I really think if you like Padron's natural, that's one of the best naturals he's, they've Conne done. Connecticut, right. Connecticut aside – I, I would smoke either natural Maduro and the Padron line all day long. No, but only, yeah. only, I, I only dislike natural, any of them. The only <laughs> natural I like is in the, in the 26. Because you don't have that, you got a nice spice to it. Yep. yep. Right? You, but you don't have that over oaked out, oaked out flavor. And I just, it, 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 some it, of them it's a lot of cedar and more that's what so I'm than saying. oak. And, and I well, like that. Thing. I, I like mean, that. cedar, yeah. oak, whatever you want to call it. Uh, that woodiness component, it just... I mean, but there it, are some, I mean, there are some Maduros in the Padron line that are just fantastic. 45th, mm -hmm. for the, the, example, 46. But, but the 45th Maduro, the 45th Natural, I like. I yeah, like a lot. I like the, that, too. The 44 Natural, I like. I, I think they're different cigars, and I think it's going to depend on your palate. My palate gravitates I'll tell you a what, more he, towards he's the on, He's on board with Dave Garofalo. Dave Garofalo loves the 45 natural. I just happened to, I read that. On, I think yeah. my pal is pretty similar to Dave Garofalo now that you say that. We pretty, seem to be pretty on par with a lot of cigars. Yeah, uh, okay. Yeah. And then me and Stogie Santa are kind of. And you guys uh, more, and, more and so on par what, what's that say? That means you've got two great palates that d d differ. But let me tell you something. D don't, don't, do not smoke the 50th. Well, natural. Oh, it's a smoke great yeah. Yeah. Lamborghini. Get one, yeah, right. get one exactly. of each and make the. Oh yeah. I think it's still the best natural. I still think it's the best natural Padron. Dude, let me tell you this. Oh, but, by but far. It by but far. it wasn't the Maduro. In These my opinion. cigars can sell anywhere between what? Sixty-four dollars to one hundred and twenty-five. In at, in that price range, buy one of each wrapper and make the decision on your own. And, yeah. and that's at a very high price point. And it, you're not going to be disappointed. I, uh, neither of these cigars disappoint. Oh, I'm me. sure people. You know, if people come in. I guess having the uh, the liquor side of my store, and um, when I know the client that I'm I'm working with, I'm saying, how can you do that? And wh whatever I said, do you s okay? When you wh what do you drink for scotch? Well, I like 25 year old Highland, or or t uh, uh, 18 year. I said, okay, there you go. Mm. You're paying. You, you know how old and, and this this these cigars are aged. Yeah, you're paying for the price. Right. Yep. Right? It's, <laughs> but it's, it's a good comparison, right? Some people like the Really peaty uh, scotch, go. and awesome. some people like the more yeah, highland. Island. That they don't go. have that peatiness, and that's exactly what we're talking yeah, about. Right, that's exactly, exactly that, what we're talking that about. Yeah. Uh, you, and you I don't dislike a really uh, peaty or smoky scotch either. I think it's a good change of pace, see, but I, I much prefer a highland. See, I, I find that the, the, the 45th has where you get the 44. You have a more. I get the oak. I mean that, that cedar. That I got oak. I I can. We're talking wood differences. Hey, so. listen, people. These are first world problems. Okay. That, hey, right. yeah. <laughs> We're talking <laughs> five stars for to, to four to yeah, four yeah. seven eights. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's like come these on. These are first world problems. I mean, we're, 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 I mean, yeah. have problems like this is not a bad yeah. problem to have. No. no I d I wanted to ask you, Stogie Santa. Have you tried the Oscuro in the new Opus X? You know something? I wanted to try that in the worst way. And by the way, I wish I knew his name. And again, age thing. A listener to the show uh, from Washington State. He said he his, he was he was gifted a Oscaro and he bought the whole box. He says it was one of his favorites. So the answer, first of all, mm -hmm. most I did not try it. They were gone before I could try it. Yeah, someone bought the last one. Mm -hmm. I wonder who that was. How about you, Coop? <laughs> No, Did you do well, it? Yeah, you, I, ha you I have it. Well, I, I have know it. where to get them. Yeah, I'll give you yeah, one. Yeah, I, I know where to get them now, too. Um, no, I didn't. I mean, Fuente's a little tougher find down here, and you really got to be – I happened to pick up the Destino El Siglos one day because I just was in the right place at the right time. Mm -hmm. But Fuente's a little tougher find down here for some of these really limiteds. Well, that, you know what I mean. Excuse me just for a second. I think my wife's calling me. <laughs> oh, you were serious about that? I thought you <laughs> – <laughs> He's this you know where he's going. He's going into my humidor to get the <laughs> yeah, oh, you better believe it. You know exactly <laughs> yeah. where he's going. We know him well enough. 
Either that or he, or he forgot something. So both the aging room number one, Will, uh, aging room bin number, bin number one, one, and the swag Connecticut are both from a good friend, Raphael Nodell. I haven't smoked the, the swag Connecticut, the brown okay. Connecticut yet, but I have it. Okay. And um, I want to just put it out there that Raphael's a very good friend of the show, super nice guy, and I, I have a, like a man crush on Raphael. Um, not like a man crush. It is a man crush on Raphael. Um, I have to put that aside when I review his cigars, though. And I'll start with the Swag Connecticut Robusto. I thought this was a good cigar. I thought it was a good offering in the Connecticut. I thought it had some of those uh, smooth and, and creamy flavors, uh, in my opinion. I didn't think it was as well balanced as uh, some of his other offerings and uh, some of the other Connecticut's. I think that, you know, age might <coughs> help improve that. It certainly wasn't a bad cigar, but I rated it a fiver in the end, which is and a again, good rating. And I only smoked one size. I only smoked in the Robusto. And I, I often, I, and I don't know, we talk about preconceived notions, right? I often find that... Um, in Connecticut's especially, size matters. And a lot of times, the smaller sizes, like the uh, or the even the more specifically the robusto size in Connecticut, can be tough. I find myself either gravitating towards larger in the Toro, um, or smaller in in a uh, you know Corona size or Petit Corona size in the in the Connecticut, um, but never never really up towards the 60. So yeah. I don't know. Just what I've mentioned in the. Connecticut cigars. I Rabu agree. A lot of robusto size Connecticut cigars really aren't high on my list. I often find oh, myself going to other sizes, and I don't know if that's a thing or not, but I smoked a lot of Connecticut's, and there's uh, not a lot of robusto what, size. One of my favorite size. Connecticut's, though, I'll tell you what, is AJ Fernandez Corona Gorda. Yeah, that was. That, 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 I think it goes back to what you're saying. Here's a little spoiler. That was on my top 10 cigars to come out this year. Yeah. I, I, you know something? It, it, it's one of the best value cigars out there. It is. Yeah. And, 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 and I'll tell you, I, I, it's just, you know, they, I, I, you've seen a little change in what they've done, and they've done it in a positive way. Um, their, their Connecticut's uh, Brad Sider, who's our rep, says, you know, we, we go back and forth. you, you got to try this. And another one that I think is not getting this due, give it a world. You're going to look at me like I'm cross-eyed, the belly. In just the, try the, it. In the I, Connecticut? I, yes. I, I, That's the one size I haven't smoked. I, see what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I'm yeah. not saying it's good as the Corona Gorda, Robusto, uh, you go, Toro, and that belly sits there at the store and just sits there and sits mm -hmm. there. I'm saying, why? Why is that? You know, so that's just who I am. And not this just AJ. Thing, yeah. Is it as good as the Corona Gorda? No. <laughs> but let me tell you something. Give it a whirl. I'm it just, it, it truly is, uh, it's, it's a, I, I would say five to almost a box split. Hmm. Now, How's that? That's, it's, 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 it's a good, it's a good I, cigar. I was talking about the swag from Raphael Nodell. Yep. And uh, I smoked another one from Raphael Nodell just today, in fact. That was the Aging Room bin number one Lancero. And I never tried that. I've been D kind minor. Of, I've, yep, been the D minor. Pol I've been polarizing on the on the bin number one line. Some sizes I, I, I like, some sizes aren't in my wheelhouse. <laughs> I smoked this Lancero. <laughs> Holy crap. This cigar is awesome. Box worthy all day long. Makes some subtle changes. And complexity is overrated, I agree. Yeah. It makes some subtle changes, but it is just all about flavor. Flavor, flavor, flavor in this cigar. I'm so happy people say that. That's just I'm not just you saying that, but go No, ahead. it was really, really good. I really, really liked it in this size. You, what would you call ball. it? I would call this box worthy. I would love wow. to have a box of these in this bin number one Lancero. I think he knocked it out of the park. Uh, a Coop, a Coop, and uh, you were saying yeah. a good friend of the show, Kruk, really loves this cigar, Kruk too. Kruk was telling me, yeah. like, I love the box press. That was the D major, and this is the D minor, which is the Lancero. Well, Kruk is telling me I need to smoke the Lancero, yeah. which I will. Definitely. While we're talking about size matters and different things, uh, have you tried the Don Carlos personal blend and the, um, uh, the, sh the what do they call it? The, Eye uh, of the Shark. Eye of the Shark. Have you, I tried I tried the personal blend the night we were watching football with Dennis. Okay. Oh, So God. I had a little bit of a distraction that Distraction night. was not that, that. That's not <laughs> even a, uh, So that screwed that up. Um, have you so, smoked each each uh, Vitola, uh, Paul? I smoked, and I smoked so the Shark So I haven't well. smoked the Robusto yet. The uh, Robusto I smoked, yeah. too. And, and I haven't smoked it yet. And the, I heard it's the better eye than the Shark. The Shark is, is like the commodity to, to have. 
The personal blend, I like much better. I saw much more potential with the personal blend, but like oh. I said, I and, and, that, no, and, and the whole thing is that I, I, I'm telling you, talking about aging potential. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, ho. I, I don't have any, but if I, I had mean, my hands on some, I'd I, One I of the most iconic uh, Oasis level cigars here in the Stewie Geeks is that Don Carlos Lancero. It, it's, it, you know, it's, it's the personal blend. Oh. This is the personal blend, though. Yeah, is it, is yeah, it a but slightly but different blend than regular? Oh, yeah. Don? Yeah. yeah, it's, yeah. it's that it's Don a, Carlos Robusto, yeah. who got me? It was funny. I never had it. Then I got, then I got a fiver somehow. I don't know if it was you or Mark Jr. that, that just, just raved about the cigar. The Lantero? Yeah, and I don't know if you or Mark gave it to me. You talk about wet spot. Oh, oh my God. And then I know if it, I, uh, I don't want to mention this. I got a five pack. I got a fiver. I got like two of those left. Those you like you don't want it. Just I, I don't even want to smoke it. I, I gotta say that could be my top two, oh. top three Lanceros. On I thought the Lost, Lost City was good. This is not even close. No, this the, is, it's, it's on a, it's 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 Oasis. It could be one of those few cigars that it's above Oasis, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's like seriously. Swear dude. to God, Seriously. swear to God, I was gonna say that. Wow. Yeah. If there's such thing as above <laughs> Oasis, Oasis, it's that cigar. I cannot believe you said that. I <laughs> swear to God. So when they come out oh. with a special Don Carlos, man, like my expectations. I would, no, are I wouldn't call right? it a bowl. I, it has the the robusto. I don't think it will be Oasis, but I'll tell no, you what. It wasn't Oasis, Chuck, but it was good. It, it could be Chuck, Chuck Norris. Norris. Okay. It could be Chuck Norris. I'm, and the whole thing is, Paul Coop, Paul Coop, Coop comes in, and he is uh, by far, I don't know how to put it, whatever. No, go ahead. You, you know, it's just that, you know, I just, we're sitting here, we're talking to guys, lighter? whatever, and what's that? The lighter. Sure. And Thanks. Paul Coop, I said, you got to try this, Coop. See if I'm, and we have, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Paul's brother Dennis is is a diehard Patriot Patriots fan, yeah. diehard. And then Coop got in the conversation, and I, and I really didn't <laughs> talk about Dennis. Wait, and and you for didn't tell like, Dennis that he was a, a Giants fan. No, did no. You? But oh, he went good. into a, Paul he Coop he is trying to smoke well. the cigar. I see Coop's eyes open up a little bit, then they close. They open up and they close. <laughs> poor, the poor guy couldn't enjoy the smoke. He was, <laughs> it was like a Obama <laughs> and 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 uh, 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 Bush. Uh, Debate. You know, there's yeah. no winning. There's no the, the winning. The and funniest poor, thing oh. about that game was w w they were up 19 nothing, and Dennis was going ape mm. like they were losing 42 to nothing. Yeah. They were winning 19 nothing. I'm like, he, and he's going off. The NFL was like, it was funny. I mean, it was an interesting experience. Oh. <laughs> and I'm smoking this Don Carlos, and it's a good cigar, but um, I don't yeah, think you got I, the whole essence of something. that cigar. Oh, I got some more. I'll send some down to you. Yeah, yeah, definitely. No, I'd like to review it actually. actually. No, oh, I, I really – the eye of the shock, <laughs> I, I'm not saying it's a, it's a, bad, a bad blend, cigar, but no, no, yeah. no, oh, by all means, please, no, 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 go out and get them. But the, I just don't get it. And, and the, I think this the word shock people just gravitate to because it is no, what it is. I smoke one of the new sharks, and I'm, you know me, I'm a huge fan of the, the I haven't shark tried this in the year. Anejo. The new ones that came out this year, it was just okay, dude. Yeah, Everyone's but they, saying don't that. You, Really? Right off the truck. That's what everyone's saying. And it's are you serious? This year's shark is not that great. In the but previous years, I mean, I, they're like. And, it's fine. And, and the whole thing is, I because uh, this is what I got from my. It's a new rep, and uh, he's a good kid. And uh, but you just don't know. He says because uh, we didn't get his, the allotment because of the Ida shark, we did well, and whatever. And the, I got f only four or five boxes of the of the uh, 77s. Gone. Yeah. I didn't get any feedback, so it'll be interesting. I the trust your sharks. palate. Yeah, I yeah. trust your palate. And and the whole thing is, I'm gonna be. You're gonna sound like I'm crazy. The the 46 is one. Of, it's probably one of my personal favorites. Over the, oh, I'll take that over the the uh, 77. Thank you. We talked I'll, about I'll take that. a lot of the Anejos over over this year's shark. I tell you what, and I'm a huge fan of the shark from like 2010, 2011. Sharks are really, really good. I think it depends on the year. It really does. Back to you, Will. What else you got? Well, I, I smoked a couple of Lanceros, and this is going to kind of sound like a little bit of a downer, but it wasn't a bad Lancero. Um, this is from Asylum Cigars, and mm -hmm. it is the Asylum 13 Ogre Lancero, um, which is the Barber Pole, the Candela Barber Pole. Right, right, right. Now, I'll be honest, the Asylum 13 Lancero, I was not a fan of. Oh, at that all. 77 problems? 99, 99 problems. problems. 99 problems. I was not it, a it was, no, it was 199 problems. Whatever. <laughs> um, that being said, the, the Ogre is a line that I've been – it's an interesting cigar because it came out originally in the 70, and I've 
think that cigar has always been meant to be a 70. Um, I've had some of the other sizes, and, and I and I still think I go back and I said it's not really a bad 70 for what it is. Um, not not something I'd smoke every day. I did give the Lancero a shot. I smoked it on the show at Lazuca. I've now smoked it a few other times. It's a decent cigar uh, for a Candela. Um, it's, um, it's a medium in terms of strength and body, so it's a little more dialed up than your traditional Candela, and I guess that's because you're getting some of the other Asylum tobaccos in there. Um, good flavor. It has a little less. You're not going to get as much of that creamy component. You're going to get more of that. You, you're going to get some of that Candela grass. You're definitely going to get the Candela off this cigar. So you'll definitely, you know, if you like Candela and that's cool. something you want, you'll like it. Um, cigar's about eight bucks. I, I put it as a fiver. It, it wasn't it's a, not a it bad was, price. No, not a bad price. It was a, it was in a Lancero. I'd, I'd smoke, you know, if, I'm, if I want that St. Patrick's Day cigar, I may go for the cigar rather than go for the 70. It was actually very good in its size. Okay. Why, a real quick tidbit. I'm going to put you both on the spot. I'll start with Paul since he's in the studio. Straight up Candela, favorite one. Uh, I like the 888 Candela from uh, Illusion. That was my second favorite. Coop? The, uh, the original White Label Project by Viaje. Hmm. My, uh, I'll tell you what. Skip's Candela. Oh, I completely forgot. I'm sorry. Yeah, Skip Skip's Candela, Candela. Skip's sorry, Candela Skip. no. is yeah. second to none. I'm, forget, I'm forgetting about that. Skip's oh, is my that, favorite. Yes. That Candela. No. It's the best Candela I've ever had. I I've can't believe I said had. that. But Andre's I've is very had. good, too. Andre's oh, I, I, no, I'm not discounting. Uh, okay. Point taken. I know I'm not taking anything yeah. away from the 88. Eight, the, uh, was 888 eight, eight, or 88 or whatever? 888. Eight, 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 yep. That was my. Because what happens, I think the grassy components, and I'm not knocking LFD, it's at Dominican, and you get. When you get the 888, it's very good. But I think it goes oh, back to what Omar God. says. It you got to blend to balance out that wrapper. And, and I, I think the, that Skip, yeah. I, I oh, agree. Oh, Skip is my and, oh that, uh, that Lucione, guy. I think they do a great job of balancing out that wrapper yeah. with their blending technique. But Skip's I agree. is more groundbreaking. In oh, terms oh, of isn't it? It, it is. It is. This yeah, is sec. It's. I think. Skip is 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 like number one plus triple A, and everything else is is a little bit lower. Skip's Candela is just. I'd like to see him. I'd like to see him have that regular production. I kind of understand why he doesn't do it though, and I kind of. I, I got the, you know something. I bought a whole bunch of them. Yeah, I I did too. Yeah. It's, um, I got boxes. I got I, I that's whatever you sent me, send me. What what really is? Speaking with Skip, did you guys do the? Ah, um, oh God. That little box that, that he has. Little, little I, Coop, help me out for the petite coronas. What I, I got one. I oh. got one for my birthday. Oh my god! I oh. have it. I haven't smoked it, but I have it. Oh. That that um, if we want to say a a pack of cigars or whatever you want to, oh, holy! And, and it's amazing. Might be, might be the best like one ten of the, pack. I, the I, best ten I, pack. For oh the, my god! This I kid. enjoyed the snot out of every single one of those cigars in that box, dude. I guy. really did. This guy, I, I just kept smoking them. It didn't even matter. All of the blends in that box are just tell. I mean, out of this world. Okay, I turned around and I said, "Boy, I love. I, no, I like." And it's so what I what it, it's a round of flavors it that is. I've never tasted ever. Oh, we'll call the five pack because it's a double up. I, I'm going to give uh, a little spoiler. I can tell you which one, but there is one of Roma Craft uh, from Skip Martin. One of his cigars is on my top ten list this year. Yeah, he earned oh. a place on my list. I will hey, tell you which one. You have to listen to the segment to figure out which one it is. Mm -hmm. One of his cigars is on the list. And I'll tell you this: it's on my top ten as well. I'm the I same cigar, Will. The same cigar. There you go. It's probably on. Probably on yours too. <laughs> probably the same exact cigar. Yep, this guy here. Uh, um, but that little ten pack, you get uh, five different cigars, two of each one. You get what an Intemperance, a Cro Magnon, a Neanderthal, all, a Connecticut. Yeah, it's Connecticut. What, uh, what's the other one? Um, three, three, four. Connecticut. There's four. There's a fifth Come one. Come on, Coop. Oh, oh, I feel embarrassed. There's a fifth one in there. And I'm a, I'm Isn't a, there? There's a fifth one in there. Yeah. Yeah. It's Cro Magnon. You got the Cro Magnon. Cro Magnon. Cro Magnon. Intemperance. Aquitaine. Aquitaine, yes. Yeah, that's Aquitaine. Is, yeah, yeah, Aquitaine. Yeah, that's the fifth one, Aquitaine. And I had to take all his blends and put it in all those petite Coronas. Oh, every, I, ni every I, night, if I, it, it, when it was a little warmer now, every night I would go in my workshop and have a cigar. I'd pull one of those out of that, I, I out call, of that box, I, I know, dude. It's funny. I got to call up. And I mean, oh. th those things are 
tough to get. Have you ever met, oh, not met, have you ever tasted a cigar line that differs so much from one to the other? What I'm trying to say, like, I can take all his blends and put them in a Petit Corona. Is, ah, it oh. all smoke awesome. I tell you, he, he is. He is. I'll put Dion in that category. Dion would be, you know, you yeah, go to that's original. It. That's a great yeah. point. Yeah, I'll put Dion in that category for sure. Uh, because it, I'll tell you what, a lot of, I, I think one of the most underrated cigars that Dion's ever made is a number four and the Ultra. You know, the the Ultra got the rating. Yep. And I don't think they got the right size. Oh, I agree. I agree. Now, now the round one, the round seven, the 58 ring you hate. The is, seven, seven is good. But I really like that the, one. Yep, yeah, I, I would, like the I seven, but the four. ECCJ. I think that's a really good cigar, too. Well, yeah, that's, underrated that's, in terms of underrated. underrated. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and this guy here is just, he's. he's they, gave it to the number, they gave it to the number nine, uh, yeah. aficionado. Hey, uh, yeah. hey sorry. Yeah. Uh, hey, Will, did you smoke the Herrera Esteli in the tubo that came from Drew Estate? Not yet. <clears throat> now, is that a limited run? Yeah, what what is the story behind this one? No, they just they just basically they they came out with a size and they just decided to uh, put the size in a tubo. Um, it's so a they, Toro ish. It's a it's a Toro. It's, yeah. Okay. So uh, that that was actually released at the um, IPCPR trade show this year. I, what a, what a great the blend! I tell you what, there's a lot going on in this cigar. I, you first light it up, it t you know it starts to get going, and then it makes some changes. Uh, Really holds your attention. Great flavors. This is a great. This is a box split, in my opinion. I, I love I, his. Cor I love his little Corona Gorda. His Corona Gorda is yeah. box worthy. It, I bought a, a box of those. The, the uh, early, his early production. Oh. It, what we need to understand that is a new size, by the way. That's not just in the tubo. Size. Yeah, the six. It's a six by fifty. It's a six by fifty two tubo, which box split. Yeah, it's great a little job. smaller great than the Corona Special. Yep, yeah, I really like it. It, it tubos for me tend to be kind of. Yeah, be careful. Yeah, tubos are, yeah, you do have You're to be You can't see what you get. You know what was interesting in this tubo was uh, the problem with – one of the problems with tubos is the cigar slides around inside the tube, and it can get damaged. He put this little bit of tobacco at the end to prevent it from sliding around and getting damaged, which I thought was good. Uh, also, I think humidification can be very tricky, tricky yeah. with a tubo. They can – it can get mold and mineral deposits inside of that tube like there's no tomorrow. Um, I tend to take my cigars out of the tube, to be honest with you, and let them breathe. That's what I did with the uh, – no, it's a or perfect loose, example. Some people loosen the caps. Yeah, P eat. Pete's black tubo. Remember that? Yep. Yep. And the red tubo, too. He had the red yeah, tubo. The red tubo. A lot, of damage. Varico, the Varico. a lot of damage on the, the black tubo. Uh, and I think after that, Pete said, I'm not doing a tubo ever again. Uh, but I, I think you got to take cigars out of the tube. Uh, but this cigar, I pulled right out of the tube and I smoked it. It's great box split. Yep, I agree. Back to you, Will. Um, I smoked Jose Blanco. I smoked a lot of Jose Blanco stuff this week. Um, and but I smoked uh, the Senora Lancero. Oh, I haven't had that one. Yeah, uh, this is the new size that they released at the show. It's the same uh, blend. It's a Habano wrapper, Ecuador wrapper. Um, the Nicaraguan binder and uh, the Piloto Cubano and Corojo filler. Um, it's a classic Lancero. It's a seven by thirty-eight with this cigar. Um, it's got a, I mean, it's got a different, a little bit of a different profile than some of the other um, Senorals, but it's really, it's actually really good. I thought it had um, a little bit of this caramel note that kind of just, and a little bit of fruit note that just gave it a. A subtle sweetness, but it wasn't one that over. I talk a lot. You know, we talked about this a couple weeks ago. You could have too much spice on a cigar. I hate too much sweetness on a cigar, and this one didn't have too much sweetness on the cigar. Um, it's a very well-made Lancero. Uh, I think the blend does real well in it. It's a medium strength, medium body that goes to medium to full, maybe in the second half. Um, the one thing that's weird about this release, he put it in 48 count boxes. Wow. Which is kind of unusual. It's like La Flor Dominicana style. They, yeah. They're big I, in that big, big crate. Rock Patel used to do that <clears throat> with his edge as well. But with Lanceros, I That's find 100. that odd. I find that odd because this is a very good – It's a if you normalize this to a 20-count box, it's a box-worthy cigar. Oh. I think if this was in 10-count boxes, this thing would fly off the shelf. Mm. It's like a 48-count. You may Someone may only buy like five. 
you know, three to five or something. So I, I kind of think it's hurting it a bit being in the in the 48 count box. I think because it's, it's doing an injustice to how good this cigar is. This is one of the best sizes of the. Of the uh, it's probably my second favorite of the behind the Corona Gorda in that line. But this is a ver- it's a very good line. Stu, uh, have you smoked Jose's uh, blending seminar cigar? Uh, we're doing it in April. Okay. We're gonna do it. Gotta, it might be gotta, different. It might be. He changes it. Listen, I gotta get that on the calendar. I want to. Maybe that's when it'll come up. So. Uh, you know, you're gonna stay, right? Yeah. Yeah. When I, in I April? Uh, the first m- first Monday in April. Mm-hmm. We may not be. That might not be here. Yeah. We may not be here for that. Yeah. We got travel scheduled for April. Whatever. Have you smoked it? Have you smoked it yet? You haven't smoked it yet. What's that? His blending seminar cigar. No. No. I've smoked it. It's awesome. It's awesome. It really is. I can't. I really want to hear your take on mm. his uh, blending some yeah, cigar. Yeah, I really yeah, do. So I, while we're smoking, this is one day off the truck. I tell you what, the final third is kind of just okay. The rest of it has been fight Chuck Norris. <laughs> it really <laughs> is. <laughs> fight I, Chuck I, Norris. Yeah. It's struggling a little bit at the end. but uh, uh, It's a little wet. Yeah, fight Chuck Norris. <coughs> mm. So what's, what's one of our this year's... Um, m- um, overlooked cigars that you, you that um, kind of best best word this that that it's got the hype but it it died out and then you go back and you re- revisit it you know what I mean overlooked by like you know what I'm saying to me it was the underground shade I think a lot of people smoked that when it first came out I think you really need to let that cigar rest it's a solid Connecticut offering. Mm-hmm. Interesting. I, I tried and I tried and I tried. I think it's a good cigar. That's. I think it's going to get be- even better with time. I really, really? do. Yeah, I, re- I really do. That's an interesting hmm. pick. Coop? Kind of looking at some cigars here. Um, a really good question here. I think um, another one. That's kind of interesting. It's going to get, I think, better with time. And it's talk about size matters. Is that David of Ascurio? Have you smoked that? No. I think that's re- in the Robusto. In the Robusto. It, I yeah. think it's excellent in the Robusto. Uh, yeah, I think that's a really solid offering from uh, from David. It, it, you know something I really enjoyed? And I think I'm going to probably drop the drawers on both of you when I say this. Is the um, Barrel Age Toro. Oh, no, I agree with you there. Yeah. That, the American that, Barrel Age from Camacho? Yeah. Yeah. That Toro. I, awesome. I think the hype was so high up here. And then I went back and I redid it. And, and I'm telling you something. That's, that's something I really enjoy. Oh, I great. really do. Yeah. It's, that would be a really that would be a really good one, I would say. <laughs> I just, you know, when I first smoked it, it was, it was funny. I, I was... Okay, I got it. You know, and mm-hmm. uh, did, it, did it the horns and the you know Davidoff and we're yeah, doing yeah, all yeah, this yeah, yeah, and yeah, all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And I'm telling you, that cigar to me, and it's doing well in the store. It really is. That's good. Yeah, it's a good cigar. That that's just 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 me. I mean, of all of all cigars, but that's why I'll throw that out there. I, I you know the one I'm kind of I guess the one I'm looking at Paul that would fit it. It has to be. I agree. It's the underground shade. Mm. The, the one and, I would another one too that I really liked yeah. that I wish more people would try is that Rocky Patel Super Lajero. I really like that blend a lot. Hey. I really do. I smoked a, a, a three or four of them in that belly size. I, it was just a great uh, cigar. I'll tell you it what. really was. It re- one of his best cigars. This it. is going back many years. This is when when um, I can't even think of his name. He's with uh, he's with him now. Max. And he was with uh, Victor at the time, and we were up in New Hampshire. One, of, I think, one of the one of Rocky's best cigars. It was the original Old World. The Old World Reserve. Yep. Yep. The original. If I, if someone t- would would say <clears throat> he's got a, a gazillion blends, and that Old World, I'll tell you something. That original blend was something that was one of his truly best cigars he ever put out. We talked with him about that when we yeah. interviewed him, too. Yeah. yeah. I, I, okay, I do have one that's a surprise going back. It, it's coming around is the short run 2015. Yeah, no, I agree. 
not the, not what's, it's what's not the up small, there. What's the small size in that blend? It's not a it's robusto. It's like a Corona Gorda. Double robusto, isn't it? Double no. They call it yeah. yeah, they call it a double. It's it's like a four and seven eighths size. It goes up and down, doesn't it? Though it's all over the place. It it's. But. I don't think it's up there with the – when you go look at the short run from 2010 to 13. Oh, my God. Mm. But but this one's starting to come ar I around. I agree, Will. It's aging yeah. very well, yes. It's aging better than I thought it would right now. Of all the EPCs that is misunderstood, and I can't sell it, and I think – you're going to think I'm oh, I know crazy. What you're gonna say. Which one? Cardinal. Yep. Ugh. One of the best cigars he ever did. That, that, this cigar buy, buy just never at, stops. Dude, I buy those boxes at a clip, dude. One of the best cigars I ever <laughs> did. I just One of the best don't cigar. understand it. I just Regular don't. production, this cigar, I, solid I, I, cigar. They all burn great. They have great flavor. It's a reasonable price point. Isn't that something? It, it, yeah. It's still. We talked about it when it first came out. I still talk about it. Ernesto was in the back room. He, the clip, dude. You know, like, Ernesto has a great relationship with Paul. And Ernesto is just... A, He's a, this and, a, and first and of all, he's a great human being. Besides, Ernesto's humidor, I think, is some really good blends in there, too. Yeah. I, I think they're going to get better with time as well. Mm. But I think I some great blends yet, in yeah. there. Yeah, the and great and the other one, it was funny that uh, that Coop said, I wouldn't put it with a Cardinal, but the new Wear Reserve is a new, I mean, the, the Reserve, what is it called? Uh, oh, Wear Reserve. Oh, Rocky. No, 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 no. The EPC. The, the, EPC. the one that you smoke. The new, new Wave Reserve. New Reserver. Wave Reserve. There's another one. I can't I get those, traction. I buy it. Boxes cabinet? at a clip, dude. The new, cabinet? The new, no, the no, new, new way, new, new way reserve. Reserva. I can't get In the Toro get size, it. I'm on my second box. Second I box. I just can't get traction. I can't. I don't, I don't know, know why people don't get that cigar, dude. I really it's don't. Short, it's, it's the short run 2012 blend. Yep. Yeah, which was awesome. Now, which I, I bought two bundles of that, of the you know, the new wave short run. Now, I do think that's much better in the Toro size. I, yep. I Toro size I, to bell the ball in that. In that I, I yeah. smoked the Robusto. It wasn't quite up to what the Toro was earlier. That's my go-to morning smoke right now. really is. My, I, I tell you, do yourself a favor. Come down to the shop. I'll hook you up. That Latelier Natural. Is, yeah, I got to try that. What size do you like in there? I, I love the Robusto. No. Robusto. 52. Okay. Lab 52. It's just creamy. It's got mm. just a nice taste. And if you want it more milder, go into a larger side. Nah. Oh, yeah. Um, the other <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah, I know. The, the, the other one. <laughs> no, it's a cigar that's just not the same. And I don't know. Remember when first, I, Coop helped me out? I think it was three years ago. It was quote, unquote, oh, limited. Like a, Remember a little, the, the, like a the little more the, A little martini? The, the, you the uh, you want to split um, a martini? F. Lancero. Yeah, like a, oh, a yeah. small dirty martini. Then they small. kind of like re-released re it yeah. into we'll uh, regular one. production. Not the same cigar. Do, do you find that? Totally agree. Not the oh, same cigar. not the same cigar. That nope. cigar, I mean, oh, my goodness, Lord. Totally uh, and, and, and I think we're oh, on board. It just Something's missing. Yep. I, I completely agree with that one. Oh, I used to, I, I, tell you, I, I, I had the, um, remember Cooper had the uh, plastic, it, 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 not, it, it came in a box, I think of 10, and had a, it, it had a, uh, um, a gla not glass, but plastic, you slide out the cover and whatever. I went through, it was a 10 or 12 count box. I went yeah. through 10 of them. I'm, I'm telling you, if I didn't smoke 100 of those cigars, I didn't smoke one. Which, which oh, is I know. The Cane F. Lancero. Oh, yeah, it was yeah, a yeah, limited yeah, release, tubo, right? Cool. In the tubo. It was a tubo. tubo. Yeah, yeah, the tubo. Oh, tubo. my God. I haven't that? smoked one of those in a while. Oh, yeah. I got one box. And I'll, bring, I'll bring it down to the studio. I got one box of the original release. That but thing it, you was know, we're, special. We're doing an auction, uh, an auction and we're doing a, a, a raffle tomorrow for the Cigar Corner for I'll various charity <laughs> organizations. I'm donating a bottle of liquor, a, a box or two of cigars or whatever. <laughs> so if you want to come down and donate some stuff, yeah, it's all I'll going to a good cause. I'll donate. I'll donate my uh, my my shoes after we go see no. Star Wars. <laughs> That's important. Oh, Coop, I, I got to tell you, that my buddy Wars. told me the same thing about Creed. He says I I, I haven't had the time. Creed like oh, the band? No, he's talking. Oh. oh, he said the movie and the other one he the went Creed, to go see. Credo? And Coop said loved it. I mean, uh, Phil, you got to go see it. The boxer. I I the boxer. Oh, you know what I'm talking about? The oh, one that just came out. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't seen that one. Me either. <coughs> so wouldn't that, talking about something, thinking out of the box of making money, imagine if you could turn around 
and have a cinema that you can oh, serve liquor and cigars. Mind. Oh, my God. Read my mind. I mean, if we could, you know. Oh. I funny. think next door we could have movie night. I was just thinking even the, the, the second right studio. in the studio. Yeah. Come yeah. have cigars. Watch a movie. I mean, I, you know, like I said, I would have loved to have had a cigar watching Creed in the movie theater. Um, and that's a longer movie. Creed's a longer movie. It's, it's, it's over two hours, uh, but it holds your attention right to the end. Like Star Wars. Did I'm you see that clip? Uh, Star Wars is two hours, 16 minutes. Probably. Just, did you see that clip of uh, the uh, gentleman uh, that was doing Creed? They were, they were sparring, and he got knocked out with there in the movie? Yeah. No. Yeah. He, he, he uh, basically Stallone told him to do that. Really? The guy who played the pl the guy who played the son. Yeah. Yeah. He, Stallone said you have to take a punch, part of your rite of passage. He said no he said, shit. He said Drago, Drago really leveled him in Rocky IV. He was saying and put him in the ho put Stallone in the hospital. He said that was something he made the kid do. And I tell you, you get knocked out. I done that. Had that done. Before. But that but sucks. but the a but yeah, the acting. <laughs> I want to tell you of all oh. people. <laughs> I, used to, I hate getting hit in the head in the face. No, 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 my big. Dude, worst no thing, one likes right getting here, hit right there. Yeah, no one likes getting hit in the face. Oh, I'll tell you, sucks. no, you gotta, no, you gotta watch my new favorite hero. I can see where people find him abrasive. Conor McGregor, hmm? the Irish kid in uh, hmm. in the USC. Oh my God. He is. The, 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 I'll it's, tell you something. It's, you know, it's way better to punch someone else in the face than to get hit in the face. <laughs> I tell you Sucks. what, you know, you, you find uh, we'll, we'll stick with the cigars. Uh, um, <laughs> so I don't know, even getting kicked in the shin or whatever okay. is better anyway. I mean, yeah, no, I'm a, I'm a. I, we gotta thrown, get, we gotta have Think about something. So the worst getting hit in the face. Here's what we gotta do. That. We could throw this out to listeners. This is something we're gonna do. What would be your favorite cigar? I mean, favorite movie to smoke a cigar to? Four favorite movie to smoke a cigar with for prize pack number one sixty eight. <laughs> Thank you, Stokey Santa. It's a five-pack of J. Grotto Petite Corona in the Connecticut. Mm -hmm. Awesome cigar. One awesome of the best. Cigar. One of the best J. Grottos to come out. Oh, mm -hmm. one of the best Connecticut's, I think, too. Yeah, it was a real. Yeah, we were talking about that I earlier love these today. these cigars. Hey, and and that's where. Email um, the show at suigeeks.com. We'll pick a random winner. And we'll send you the cigars. I, yeah, but and I may. Then, if I you say Creed, I may have. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> The, yeah, we'll pick a random, random winner. Random. No, it will be random. That's some olive juice. Oh, boy. Post-show oh. martinis here in the Stogie Geek studio. That's what we're going to do, so. Yeah, we did last week, Stogie Santa. We did, and the con next contest is still open because uh, we're going to put the um, – who would if, – if you were to meet Frank Sinatra in a cigar lounge – um, what cigar would you give to Frank Sinatra? <laughs> wow. There's some good answers we got. Wow. That is an interesting question. Don Carlos Lancero? That'd be right up there. Don Carlos Lancero or, or a debonair. I thought debonair. 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 Yeah. Because he's just a debonair guy. Yep. He's a and debonair guy. I, I, I mean, I, 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 again, I'm a shill. I admit it. I can't help it. But I can see that because who, what personifies class? When you think, seriously, this man had more class in his left pinky than I will ever have. I, I lean Dominican because the story is when Philippe Gregorio did, we were talking about this last week, did the Frank Sinatra cigar. The story was that Frank insisted the cigar be made in the Dominican Republic. I think what we owe yeah. the Stogie Geeks listeners on this show, we do a theme of Frank Sinatra. Sure. I'm in. I'm in. You don't even have to ask that. Oh, I'll, oh man, that, 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 it's, it's just a, it, it, this, that, thank you. Look at this. Let me tell you, so this man, this guy, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm not even going to say this, and you guys are going to laugh at me. Don't laugh. And this is another show. Cigar Dave this weekend did one of the best tributes to Frank Sinatra I've ever heard. Uh, go listen to that show. Thank you. He had an author on from there. Um, oh. He brought out some Frank Sinatra music oh, that I didn't that. know he'd covered. Oh. Guy, I, yeah. oh. Go ahead. Keep going, Coop. 
No, it was it was really well done. And I've been I've been look, Frank Sinatra's birthday is oh. a week after mine. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Frank Sinatra would love this these martinis that Keith's making too. You know wow. Because exactly. you know that you know that's a great that's gotta be you know, that is a great question, Coop. Frank Sinatra. I, I, I know something. I wouldn't give him one. I would ask him what he would want. Mm. Oh, I think it, it – yeah, but it's int- that's a good point. I wonder what – you know, but I could see Frank going for some sort of a Fuente. Uh, you know, a Don, Don Carlson, I could see that. I could see a debonair. Because, um, you know, it, it, again, sponsor the show and hold it. You think about what the persona is in debonair. Well, that was one reason why we did the Frank thing with – that was why I wanted to do something for the 100th birthday uh, because Frank we, we was the debonair. Yep. Yeah. Oh, Have there's you, there's no doubt, Coop. That's a great point you guys yeah. bring up. Oh. Pete, try one of those olives, dude. Oh. No? Oh, <laughs> God. Thank you. Uh, okay, get your drinks. <laughs> Rub it in. <laughs> oh, this guy can make a man. Th- oh. Oh. Well, that, well, well. <laughs> now, if you, if you could. Oh, no, no, I'm not, I'm not going there. Awesome. Keep my mouth shut. Sometimes I, it's best to say nothing, but um, that all, every, everything being said, we're not going to disclose the top ten cigars of uh, or top whatever you guys are doing. You and you and Coop. Mine will be disclosed by the end of the year. Yeah. Right. Can we throw out this now or uh, next ex- episode? I want to know what the uh, va- value cigar would be this year. I have mine. A value cigar. What would you define as a value cigar? Well, what I'm saying that it's the under the ten dollar mark. Okay. Yeah, there's one. There's one cigar under ten dollars. There's a few of them on my list. Oh, there's quite there's, there's quite a few. There's quite a few, but there's one that's very very high this year. And I think we're on the same part or same yeah. part. Is it AJ Fernandez? The enclave is up there. Hey, I'm gonna say this about AJ Fernandez. What this guy's done for the market in the last year, the segment he's kind of gone into with Enclave and the two new worlds, um, has been incredible. It's been an impact from from a business uh, standpoint. Uh, I mean, and I'm going to put a lot of that on AJ because of the blends he's coming up with. But Devil's Advocate, sponsor the show, it was needed to be done. It was needed to be done. It was needed to be and, done. And, and I take, you know, you know something? I give them a lot, a, lot, a lot of credit because, you know, when you put, the, uh, they had different cigars with a higher price, and I'm not saying what's right or wrong. They looked at different things, and they went in a market trend. I'll tell hey. you what, though. Indian motorcycle, premium tobacco. You can't argue that. That's my number one value. I, my, I, my Habano Robusto is oh. a number one cigar Very in good. The value. That, a, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. I don't, don't, don't. I'm, I'm, I'm talking too much. But that cigar to me mm. is mm-hmm. just hands down, and it's going to get better and better and better. It hasn't even reached its potential yet. No, it, it has value. I mean, you get all the value right out of the box, and then it's going to age, mm. and, and that's more value. Uh, it, it, think, insane, insane. And enclave, uh, enclave is number two. I, I think where Phil's going with the India motorcycle as. A, putting that brand on there. Mm-hmm. This is not a guy who just slapped on a brand. No. Um, and this is going to be a brand with legs. And, and I, I, there's some momentum going with this cigar, not just in the cigar community right now. It's, it's the motorcycle community. I'm seeing a lot oh, of... You have no, oh, you have no idea. Well, oh, I, you I do. do. Have a, I shouldn't say about that. I do because we've gotten a lot of traffic. Um, and... When we were able to source the traffic, it was very interesting to see where it was coming from. Mm-hmm. And it was a lot of traffic coming from outside the cigar community and, and the motorcycle community. Yeah. And the other one, not for 2015, I'm going to tell you, Value Cigar selling in my store, mm-hmm. it's, Phil's hasn't got the traction. I would probably think in the last two months, I've sold probably boxes of 50. In two months, 25 boxes. Boxes of 50? Yep. Of what? The Rothschilds. 
Oh, Illusion. Yeah. I That's can't keep them in the store. Illusion yeah. and Rothschilds. Yeah. I remember you were saying yeah. that. Yeah. No, I, 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 I'll tell you What's what. What's this we, we, retail for as a single? Five, five and change? Four ninety nine. Ooh. I yep. can't no, I can see keep that. them. I wholesale yeah, these I things. Know. I do everything. Phil may someday get there, but there isn't. I'm just saying sales. I'm not talking what your preference. Personal, that's present. a personal cigar too. You can smoke in the morning and smoke in the night. Yeah, I'm telling yeah. you, I yeah. can't keep that cigar. I when I order, guess what I order at a time? Ten boxes at a time. Of fifty. Of fifty. I don't get it. I don't wow. get it. It's not a bad cigar, but I. No, it's a it's good a, cigar, Will. It's a it's, good cigar. It's not it's, as good as I'm not, I. I Coop, I know where you're going with this. Yeah, but for right. five I, bucks I, though. Did you see? Value, you see, you're not looking at Coop. I saw that. I saw that look. I too. saw that. I saw that uh, Coop look. Right. I, I think um, the original releases were there. And the one, I'll tell you, there's another one he has that falls off the face of the planet, La Petite. Hmm. But I can't get the, that. Uh, Ebene, the Ebene. Yep, the Ebene blend. Because, you know, it, it's that that medium body. But I cannot, I, I'm telling you, 10, think about that. When I reorder, it's 10 boxes at a time. Are we still recording? Is it? Yes. Oh. Sorry. We should wrap this up. Yeah, oh, exactly. Anyway, ah, ah. I, I thought you knew that when you were getting drinks. <laughs> then Sorry. Not, Thanks, uh, everyone, for watching. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. God New, bless. Uh, last two weeks of the year. Cheers to that. We'll see January everyone 7th. in January 2016. 7th. I, I just want to say, can I mention something about what happened with, with you? This, I, this I can't stop you even if I... I, I just want to say a shout out to uh, Paul and his uh, lovely wife. Uh, they're gonna expecting a child. Oh, they, yes. they've, Cheers they've, to they've, that. They've, I'll tell you what. Number three. Number three. God bless them. I, I, catching I, up to me. Yeah, I, I tell you something. Two most wonderful people in the world, and oh, they deserve you. all the kudos in the world. Absolutely. And reach out. I tell you, I'm so I'm so happy and so proud. Yeah, absolutely. God bless. And then, yep. And then one shout yeah. out to the Cigar Corner guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's uh, crazy times in the uh, Asadorian household. We have three dogs. Three dogs. Oh, that's right. You, you adopt. Oh, God. Three dogs. I'm trying to get and rid of my wife and get with two, two more kids. dogs. <laughs> two no. kids and one on the way. So we're going to have an even amount of dogs, kids in the house. I, I can see the phone call times. from Braden. Hey, Mark, you need some help? Yeah. <laughs> get me out of here. Get me out of oh, here. Oh, my poor boy. Oh, it's, oh, it's a lot of fun, though. It's a lot of fun. I, I tell you something, seriously, uh, from the bottom of my heart, to all the listeners, God bless you. It, it, to, to, to turn into Stogie Geeks, Well, Paul those that don't Coop. know, Keith and Mark are my neighbors, so I bring the kids over to their houses, and yeah. No, really. It's a very <laughs> special time. Lock everything down. Very blessed. <laughs> yeah. And, um, oh, God, this guy. Okay, I More can do martinis. that. More martinis. You want a martini, too? Uh, and a little bit. No, you no, know, no, no. Okay. Do what you got to do. I'll drink another one of those. <laughs> Merry Christmas and Happy Merry New Christmas. Year to everyone. Thank, Thanks thank for you. listening. We'll see everyone in 2016. Lots of content coming over break, so stay tuned to the story. Ciao Geeks. for now. Thanks, everyone. See you on the next episode.